Okay, gentlemen, chunks are okay on both sides. Anything landing on the belt, I'll consider it low. Now, Saul, Amir, we went over the rules in the dressing room. I want to caution you to keep this fight clean at all times. Protect yourself at all times. And what I say, you must obey. Good luck to both of you. Touch them up in this fight. Did anybody hear him right now, Lennox? Yeah, boy. No, not, I wouldn't be listening to him. I'm just focused on the guy across the ring that wants to knock my head off. <laughs> We're getting ready for Canelo Alvarez and Amir Khan. There you see him. Well, that prayer in his corner as we're getting ready to go. 12 rounds of championship boxing coming your way in the middleweight division at the brand new T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. And we are underway. An electric crowd is fired up on Cinco de Mayo weekend. Canelo Alvarez wearing the red and white. Khan in the black trunks. Canelo Alvarez, 46, 1 and 1 with 32 KOs. Amir Khan from Colton. Lancashire, England, 31 and 3. Canelo Alvarez holds the middleweight belt. Both these fighters coming in weighing at 155 pounds. They both started their career in 2005. Amir coming off a silver in the 2004 Olympics. Canelo, 15 years old, turning professional in Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. Canelo. The favorite in this fight at his camp in San Diego, where he normally does. The mere train by Virgil Hunter was in the Bay Area in California. The fighters playing with each other now. A very pro Mexican crowd. But Khan does have some of his army with him, waving the British flag. He's making them happy so far. He's the one who's thrown punches, landed punches. He's got that nervous energy. He needs to focus it and throw ones and twos and not be too greedy when he's, even when he's landing on Canelo Alvarez. This fight build at speed versus power. Oh, with that speed on his side. Look at the broad back of Canelo Alvarez. He's definitely filled out since yesterday's weigh-in. Time with some muscles on him also. Good luck from Canelo. Yeah, Khan has to be careful when he's starting his combinations. He looks like he's running in. So he's got to move in cautiously when he's throwing his combinations. And keep his head down. Another good luck from Canelo. 25-year-old Mexican. Canelo wearing that KT tape, the athletic tape on his calves. You see that when you're in camp with him, though? No? Yeah, he, he has it on his shoulders, on his elbows. You know, most boxers do what, what they feel they need, ne what's necessary for them to uh, perform at the highest. So. Yeah, and whatever the com you know the commission will allow. I, mean, I, I remember back in the day, actually to our right of us, Lennox is uh, Michael Spinks, the former light heavyweight and heavyweight champion in the world. He used to go into the ring with knee braces on. He felt comfortable with those. I don't know. It, not in every state will, will they allow a fighter to enter the ring with knee braces, but if they allow the tape, and that, that's just fine. Keep your eyes on his hands. You know, the punch is gonna do it. Amir Khan stop, steps in with a one-two combination. That was the first solid combination landed of the round. These are uh, Canelo Alvarez's nieces and, and nephews. And just after that, that, that one-two combination, uh, they were worried about uh, Canelo. I think Canelo's just fine. Canelo uh, showed he can take the power well. He took his time. Tap the time here and there. The feel Canelo is going to be fine after that one. Gives, gives some exposure to it. The second round action. Scheduled for 12. Beth Grant, Doug Fisher, and Hall of Famer Lennox Lewis. Good feeling out round in the first one, huh, Lennox? It was, it was a good feeling out round. I was kind of concerned. I didn't want. Uh, Khan to move too much, only to have that control movement. I think really what he needs to get going is this jab. You know, touch Canelo, make him feel that he can't just rush in on him. 
Right hand by Khan. He's got to give Canelo something to worry about. Right now, Canelo's not moving like he should. He should be giving him a lot more pressure. And he has to be careful that these rounds don't slip away from him as well. I don't recall, I don't remember seeing Canelo um, swing as, as widely or wildly with his left hook as I've seen him swing against Khan in the first round and in this round. Amir Khan moving up two weight classes to take on Canelo. Some people questioning whether he should, if he even had a chance when the fight was announced. Here, now you see that speed that he does possess. Able to land that right hand in the right. And Canelo answers with the left. Amir Khan, the last few years, we've heard it. He's been calling out people. Went after Floyd, went after Pacquiao. Yeah, we're going to talk. We're going to talk about this. He never got that fight, Doug. That chip on that shoulder just keeps getting bigger and bigger for him. You know, he's always had it. He's always been somebody who's looking to challenge himself and take all the kind of challenges right, stop, where stop, the stop public, or, or at least the boxing world, him doubts him. him. And I think he uses that as fuel, his motivation. Lennox, I was reading something from the British papers that he's not as beloved as many people thought he would be in his career. Is that true? No, he's loved over there. I mean, he's got a lot of fans over there. I mean, uh, th there's a lot of champions in England right now. Yeah, there are. So the fans have to, you know, kind of spread themselves out. That's a good point, man. Yeah, the British boxing scene is on fire right now. But we're watching Canelo and Amir Khan. The Canelo chant is getting loud. Every single time the Khan army tries to stand up, the fans are getting louder. Shouting them down. A great vibe, a good atmosphere inside the brand new T-Mobile Arena. Yeah, you're right about Canelo's left hook. He, he doesn't have it measured yet. He hasn't caught up to Khan's speed yet. He's trying to, but he's trying not to even make himself look like he's rushing it. But later on, he's going to get a little bit more desperate and try and get Khan. And maybe this is the strategy, just feel him out for like two or three rounds, acclimate to the speed, then put the pressure on him. Round of action. It'll wait but on the line. Another wild swing of this from Canelo Alvarez. Canelo's dead. Haven't seen it yet. And seeing some pressure from Canelo Alvarez now. Stepping forward. An inch taller than Canelo. But Canelo's been fighting at this weight for a while. More comfortable is he at this weight than Canelo Alvarez. He fought at 154 for the first time in 2012 and stayed at this weight. But recently against Miguel Cotto, he's at 155. So technically, uh, a middleweight with the middleweight title on the line, but just one pound over the junior middleweight line, which is where he says he's going to come. People wondering how come Canelo wouldn't take on Triple G or why was he fighting Khan? And right now he's in a good one with Khan if Khan is bringing him, looks like some fits. I scored the first two rounds for Amir Khan. You did. Yeah, I mean, uh, Canelo's not just, he's just not being active enough to, to take his rounds. Khan with that hook. The only thing that Khan does on a positive side, his Legion of Fans is getting louder and louder with it. Here's, there's the jab. Khan's a very confident fellow, isn't he? Yeah, he is. He's moving around. He's doing what he wants. He doesn't have that much pressure. I'm concerned about the middle rounds right now. I don't want him to use up too much pressure because in this type of fight, you can use it up early. Yeah, you can use it up early because it's just a lot of nervous energy that you're going to be using up. You've got to make sure you still stay relaxed and you breathe. Finally, his last fight was in May of last year against Chris Algeri. That went the distance, 12 rounds before that, Devin Alexander. And then Luis Palazzo. What do you think any of the boxers right now have settled in to boxing? Still kind of figuring in each other. Body speed, body vibe of everybody is kind of messing Canelo up a little bit. Still hasn't figured out Khan's movement. Khan brought in a couple of smaller fighters to emulate like Chargers has with their speed uh, to go against uh, him and Sparner, one of them being speedy Rashidi Ellis, who was on the park earlier this afternoon. The other tall, rangy, welterweight super middleweight man, Dusty Hernandez Harrison, yep. who's 29 and 0. Buried 
this camp for Canelo. Speed guys on the first. Stevens in there. Going to knock out a Patrick Teixeira to open up the night. But right now, Amir Khan is landing his punches. He's the busier guy. Busier with the speed and with his hands. Fourth round underway. How do you see it at the three, Lennox? I think Khan's, Khan's definitely leading the way right now. Alvarez really hasn't done anything to really bridge the gap between both of them. I think he's just, you know, concentrating on his powers. I've always said, you know, you can't concentrate on the power against stop, stop, a fast stop, stop guy. Keep them up. Fast guys Watch around, your hands, fellas. Keep them him. up. So the power doesn't really exist. You should really concentrate more on speed. You can't hit, you can't catch. You can't hit what you can't catch. Actually worked with a new strength and conditioning coach, Luis Garcia, for this one. Kind of pulled up for this fight. The body on that weight. His body looks pretty good. You see the speed, you see the mobility that we saw on Khan in the, in the, in the lighter weight class. Near Khan, an Olympian at the age of 17. And a shot landed. Canelo with a jab. Man, the fighter that he lost to in the Olympic Finals was a great Cuban amateur. A man, yeah, yeah, grown man, and I, I, I think he retired uh, from the amateur ranks uh, being a, a three-time yeah, gold medalist, which is uh, quite a feat. And it's, it's significant that he got Canelo to take a few back steps. It tells us that Canelo can feel the sting of these shots a little bit. This is something that promoted Zelaya was talking about. His own fight when he had against Manny Pacquiao, who was the smaller fighter who was able to pick up Oscar. Or when, when De La Hoya fought Shane Mosley. Shane Mosley also. Come up from lightweight to welterweight and was new going into the fight as a small man. That's not how it played out when the two uh, Southern California fighters step into the match. Yeah, you gotta give Canelo a little bit of credit here because, you know, most guys would have got frustrated and start throwing some more, a, a lot more bombs. But he's still composed. Maybe a little bit too composed. Maybe so, because, you know, he's, you know, Khan already has confidence. You don't want Khan to get more confident. Maybe you want him to be overconfident, but you don't want him to be so confident that he's effective and he's comfortable and just letting his hands go. Right now, Camilo is allowing Khan to do what he wants, and this is a mistake. Khan's controlling the fight. Well, this is why it was an interesting style matchup. Even though people look at the size and say, well, it's a mismatch, it's a mismatch in terms of their size. In terms of style, it was interesting because Canelo has never shown the ability to really effectively cut the ring off. Bring him up! Fast fighter like Amir Khan cutting the ring off is very important. We're done with four. A straight left. And there's Triple G, the WBA and IBF middleweight champion of the world. Said he was coming to the fight. Wasn't going to call out anybody afterwards. Not his style. But you know, so he's Mexican style boxing on Secret of My Weekend. You've got to show up. And his presence here means something. Oh, yes. The, the, the elder in the room when you're talking yes. about it. It's, 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 promotion, it's promotional positioning. <laughs> neither, neither of these fighters can think about the regime. They need to think about what's in front of them. We are one-third into this prize fight. And um, I would say it's time for Canelo Alvarez to wake up and start putting into practice some of the things that he trained with with Eddie Reynoso, which is to come forward while slipping punches and work with the body of the naturally smaller man. Any questions about Triple G last this week or on the press tour, you know, or press conferences or teleconferences about him quickly deflected and I can see why you can't worry about somebody else when you have somebody that you're preparing for, right Lenny? Right. I mean I hate I used to hate that. You know, I'm preparing for a fight, I'm at a press conference and the other opponents there and they're asking me about a fight down the line. Terrible thing to do by the press people, but you know, they have that ask that question. There it is. <laughs> not so prepared. Very, just a, very naughty of them. We're just a bunch of very naughty. We're <laughs> <laughs> naughty. That quickness from the rear slipping punches. 
He's starting to land with more authority now uh, as we get into the middle rounds of this fight. This is the meat of the fight. Seven for 12 in the middleweight division. Hill's on the line. Canelo is the Alineo champion. Recognized by Ring Magazine as well as the WBC champ. And I think he really needs to make something happen in this round because I scored the first four rounds for Amir Khan. How much do you think that because of the way that Khan has been knocked out, stopped in his fight, Danny Garcia in the fourth round, his first loss of his career, maybe that questions about Khan's job, could that be something that Canelo's fan may be thinking about? Yeah, you can't think too much. I remember uh, John Ruiz, uh, a, a real good heavyweight, he held a, a number of, of titles. He was knocked out on HBO against David Tua in one round. I'll be that 20 or 30 seconds into that fight. And for the rest of his career, people thought he had no chin. And guys went in there and didn't fight to the best of their ability because they thought the first heavy shot they would land on John Ruiz would knock him out. And, and what happened? John Ruiz would outbox him and outwork him. You can't, as a fighter, go into a fight just thinking just because a guy has a reputation for being chinny that he's going to be knocked out by the first clear punch he lands. Amir Khan with some blood on that right eye. Trickling down, it looks around the eyebrow. That's a one, two. Another good round between Khan and Canelo. Need that hook from Canelo might have been what caused that cut. Close rounds. Get to see how the judges have the score in the sixth round. Canelo Alvarez in the red and white. Amir Khan. The black and burgundy. No, Canelo's corner told him the right thing to do. To relax a little bit and not really focus on the power because, you know, every time he focused on the power, he came wide and, you know, Amir Khan was out of the way when that punch got there. Canelo Alvarez, a fighting family. He's the youngest of the kids. His brothers fight, but he has his own promotion company. Right now, he's in touch with Amir Khan. I think he's got a bit of a hole to climb out of. Just needs to be a, a little bit more active. Well, the good thing about boxing, that can all change with one punch. That's true. Like, left from Canelo Alvarez. That's the power we've expected. But beyond the power, it was nice punch selection. It was a combination. It wasn't just one big sweeping left hook. Lennox Lewis on it, calling it. What's Canelo going to do now, though, Lennox, after that? Well, you know, this, hopefully this gives him some energy. And he realizes that this is the way he needs to box this fight. Instead of concentrating on the power, he needs to concentrate on the combination punches that are working. And the speed, because the weight of his punches, he's, he's a hard puncher anyway. So even if he's trying to punch with speed, the power is there. Power is there. Canelo Alvarez has 32 KOs in his 48 fights. Especially uh, uh, about a year ago, an impressive knockout of James Kirkland in the third. Doug, you were there for that. James Kirkland with the perfect style and mentality to bring out the best offense in Canelo Alvarez. Amir Khan with a, a different ring mentality, a higher ring IQ, and a, a tricky style. Started throwing some heavy punches. Lennox, I had Amir Khan winning 
the first five rounds of this fight. Yeah, and it doesn't really matter. This is what I say. It's, it's, it goes more. It's not. You don't worry about the five rounds. It's, it's a 12 round fight. It's all the way to the 12 round fight. So you got to stay focused all 12 rounds. You can't stay focused five rounds and then take a rest against a strong puncher like this because it only takes one punch. The concern from here, Khan, who's still on the mat. As soon as he dropped him, Canelo Alvarez ran over there. He waved off, and Triple G is right there. But right now, there's still concern from here, Khan, who is on his back. Canelo Alvarez with the big monster knockout, his 33rd of his career. He improves a 47 1 and 1. And let's look at the replay here. Right over the top, right hand, kind of faked him with the jab. Maybe in the first five rounds, he was making Amir Khan think that he was trying to load up with his left. Maybe he was looking for that right hand shot the whole time. Boom! Big right hand, literally knocking the snot out of poor Amir Khan. His legs come out from under him. He hit the canvas hard. Let me tell you, that was a mistake by Amir. He dropped his left hand. You can't drop your hands against a boxer. A puncher, I mean. Well, he's facing a boxer puncher. What a shot. God, it was so sudden. And his head hit the back of the mat as soon as he went down. Yeah, that's a, and that's a double concussion. Deals by him. Immediately, they jump after him. Doctors are immediately right there with Amir Khan. It's a, it's, it was a chilling knockout. Especially Scary. on this level of championship fighting. A shot like that. He's on his feet. Virgil Hunter, his trainer, hugging him. They had a great camp. There's a same comment. I'm okay. I'm, I'm glad he's responsive. I really There's am. his dad. Team Triple G is shaking hands with uh, Canelo. Team, Team Canelo. That's the fight everybody talks about. Gentlemen, the end comes officially. Two minutes, 37 seconds, round number six. Your winner by KO Victory and Steel, WBC Ring Magazine.